But big news coming out of Old Trafford in the last few moments. It involves Eric Ten Hag and my man, of course, Mr. Crook is right across it. Alex, what are you telling us? It's now official, Jim. Eric Ten Hag has extended his contract as Manchester United manager until June 2026. We reported this a couple of weeks ago now when we first arrived in Germany on Talk Sport. That not only was Eric Ten Hag staying at the club, despite the fact we know United has spoken to potential successors, but that he would be rewarded with a new deal. Ten Hag has said that he's pleased to reach an agreement with the club. He's looking back at the past two years and reflecting with pride on the two trophies, says Ten Hag, and many examples of progression from where we were when I joined. Interestingly, Dan Ashworth, he was confirmed as the new sporting director at Old Trafford earlier this week. We've heard from him for the first time as well. He says with two trophies in the past two seasons, Eric has reinforced his record as one of the most consistently successful coaches in European football. While the club's review of last season highlighted areas for improvement, it also reached a clear conclusion that Eric was the best partner for us to work with in driving up standards and outcomes. What are you scoffing at? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Actually, Gabby, I, I, I heard you, Riash. I'm coming to you in a moment. Uh, that's oh, interesting, no. Alex. That's the first time we've heard from Ashworth, um, uh, the new sporting director. And he has, a little, he has a little pop with one of the quotes. This group of players and staff have already shown they're capable of competing and winning at the top level. Now we need to do it more consistently. So that's a kind of, to me, are you, are you hearing me, Eric? Now we need to do it more consistently. I mean, now it gets, it's super serious for England here on Saturday. Now it's really serious for Manchester United going into next season, isn't it? Yeah, it is, because you can count the number of, of good performances on one hand, really. It was excellent the way it finished in the FA Cup final. He came up with a tactical plan to stifle Manchester City and United were deserved winners, but there weren't too many more games over the course of the campaign in any competition that, that really stand out. Yes, they had a lot of injuries, but they weren't alone in that respect. I think they're going to be busy in the transfer market. We expect uh, Matthias De Ligt probably to come in and play alongside Lissandro Martinez at the heart of the defence, but they have to start well home against Fulham, live on Talk Sport on the Friday night. Not only do they need to win, they need a convincing performance because you go back to last season, again live on Talk Sport, first game of the season, they beat Wolves 1-0, should have given away a penalty. They were dreadful that night and performances didn't really get any better. What do you make of it? I noticed you. What, what were you doing there, Gabby? Because your, 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 <laughs> your reaction as Alex gave us this news, are you kind of thinking along the lines of a big wow? I mean, what is it? They, they've added an extra year. Is that a ringing endorsement? Is that what you're thinking? No, no. What I'm thinking is that as an Aston Villa fan, I'm, I'm, I'm excited by the news because Manchester United are going to be one of the teams that are trying to fight to get into the top four like Aston Villa. And I don't think Ten, Hag, Ten Hag is going to be the man to do that next season. Yes, you they think Villa will be challenging top four again? I still think they will, mate. I think they'll still do business. Um, I think with that manager, what he's capable of. Last season, everyone talks about Manchester United, Chelsea injury problems. Aston Villa had so many injury problems that they don't talk about. But finishing in eighth position last season, this is Manchester United. You won an FA Cup against a Manchester City team that had celebrations you wouldn't believe the week before. I don't think you should derive winning trophies. When was the last time Villa won a trophy? Yeah, but, yeah, but a team like Manchester United... They should be looking at top four and fighting for league titles. FA Cup, great, well done. But are you, is, telling, is, are you, is, are you, are you telling me Arsenal, for instance, would be happy just winning an FA Cup in the Carabao Cup? Arsenal are going for the league. They're playing well, they're Champions League They're going for the league and they keep losing it. Yeah, but they're fighting they for the league. open-top bus tour, finishing second to yeah, Manchester but, City. Yeah, but, but, but <laughs> last, se last season, I'd rather have been an Arsenal fan than a Manchester United fan. Yes, they didn't win a trophy, but they're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe season after season, with Manchester City to go and win a league title. Manchester United finished in eighth position. Manchester United. But they got a trophy in the cabinet. Controversial opinion. I wouldn't swap finishing second in the league and oh, winning nothing for finishing eighth and winning the FA Cup. I wouldn't. I can't, I can't agree with that. Listen, a club like Aston, about listen, a club like Aston Villa... Aston Villa a, club, a club like Aston Villa, of course. Like We haven't won a trophy in um, numerous years, of course. But I'm talking about Manchester United cannot be finishing eighth in the league they just can't crook it. And like, I agree, you, 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 you need to improve. You, you I agree, agree with that. You just says about the performances last season. Manchester United, before the injury started coming, like you said, the Wolves game didn't deserve to win. Nottingham Forest at home. Yeah, don't belittle so winning many. the FA Cup. He still came down oh, the yeah. oh, of course. in the FA Cup. You won the FA Cup. Thumbs up. Well done. But I still don't think that was enough for him to keep his job. With a group of players that he's got there. Yes, you had injuries like every other club in um, the Premier League. Finishing eighth in the league as a Manchester United fan, for me, is a sackable defence. A sackable offence. 100%.
It's Manchester United. You think they should? How many times have we heard Gary Neville say, "But we're Manchester United"? Because he's he's right. Manchester United eighth in the league. Yeah, but it's Jim. not it's not the Manchester United of old. Let, you, let's let's remember that. Gabby, do, with a new structure, with Ashworth in and around the scene, and some of the others uh, in the, in the background, with Sir Jim Ratcliffe all over it. Yes. Do you see change for the better this season? I think they'll do better, of course. But will they get top four? I don't think they will. I think there's so much competition now. Do I think Aston Villa will? I probably don't think they will be in the Champions League now. It's going to take more um, strains out the, out the players, out the squad. You know, we find some fair play now as well. But are you telling me that Manchester City, Arsenal, Liverpool, Newcastle are going to get better. Chelsea are going to get better. Spurs are going to get play better. I don't see Manchester United breaking when, when, si when Simon's on the show... We're regularly putting people on the spot. I'll put you in the spot now. Yep. Write down your top four. Okay. We're, at, we're on the 4th of July here in Dusseldorf in Germany at the Euros. Gabby's given me his top four, as he sees it, to finish in the Premier League next season. And you're saying that Manchester United will not be part of that top four. You don't no, see it. I don't see it. I don't see Aston Villa in it. I see Man City winning it again. I think Arsenal will be their closest challengers. I think Liverpool, with the squad of players that they've got, if they hit it off with a new manager, will be in third place. And I think Chelsea will really improve and they will finish in fourth. Let me ask you a question then. Because yep. You're very bullish there about Aston Villa. Who finishes higher in the league? Aston Villa under Unai Emery or Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United? Aston Villa. Yeah. You want a little charity wager on that? Yep, yep, I will do. Okay. How much cookie? Well, we, we can, we can, uh, okay. we can get this man stake and reinvest it. <laughs> but, 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 exactly. But so you're 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 saying, Gabby, that Villa yep. will finish higher than United, hundred percent, in the Premier League. But your top four doesn't. Just to recap, does not include Manchester United, Manchester City, Definitely Arsenal, not Manchester United. Liverpool, and Chelsea. Where do Manchester United under Ten Hag? I know it's a long shot from this. Yes. Where do you see them finishing next season? This season, seventh again. Eighth again. I really think the, the quality that there is now in the Premier League to get into that top six, top seven, it's so tough. Aston Villa next season, Champions League football is going to take so much of that squad, out of that squad of players. Newcastle last season, being in the Champions League, what it took out of them, injuries, suspensions, they couldn't finish in the top four. I just think it's going to be very difficult for teams next season. I don't see Aston Villa or Manchester United finishing so that top are four. Are you telling us, this, giving him an extra year, that's really what they've done, added an extra year to his After contract. looking at every other manager possible, that's a waste of that. You think that's a waste of time? Listen, uh, listen. It, it's, it's for Manchester United to decide. Just me, from watching Manchester United last season, I didn't see anything from their performances that Ten Hag deserved a new um, deal. And if managers were available and wanted to come to Manchester United, they would have changed him this summer. Do you think this news from United this morning, Alex, in any way sends shivers down the spines of managers at other Premier League clubs? No, probably not. Well, I don't know about managers, but certainly not fans. Because Does that not say at all? I think most supporters will be of, of Gabby's opinion. But you know what? I'm OK with that. And I think Eric Ten Hag will be OK with that because maybe he can use it to create a bit of a siege mentality and prove people wrong. You, 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 we're talking about this season being a write-off, and it was. But they still won the FA Cup. You know, a lot of, a lot of clubs would would bite your yes, hand off for that. Of course, the previous season, there were signs of progress. Again, they got a trophy in the cabinet. Again, they got to an FA Cup final. They did finish in the top four. Yes. There were a lot of mitigating factors last season. You had the takeover shenanigans going on in the background. You had a Mason Greenwood situation uh, that Ten Hag's superiors didn't deal with very well. You've got the Marcus Rashford issue. I think if he gets uh, a more serene environment, he's got that structure above him now. I, th I think Ten Hag will surprise a few people. You think okay. top four? Possible? I think there's every chance. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.